Hello there my fellow Holo Table Heroes and welcome to another Fleet Guide video. Now we already covered how to counter Leviathan using Chimera, Profundity as well as Executor. So if you're after those guys, there'll be a link in the description below to my Swag of Life website when you can go ahead and check them out. Now I finally got uh, my Leviathan to 7 stars last week. It took a while but I'm finally here. So I was able to test out a few different uh, option for the Leviathan mirror matches as well now so this one I just want to share with you uh, the most successful strategy for me personally that really I haven't heard many people talk about uh, so hopefully this will a bit spread the news on on this alternative way to approach Leviathan mirror matches now as with all other mirror matches when it comes to fleets it's all about race to the ultimate who comes to the ultimate first shall win right uh, that's why when it comes to leviathan mirror matches seed fighter is really the key component here because from its uh, unique abilities whenever an enemy falls below 100 percent health all Sith allies gain 25 percent turn meter this includes obviously leviathan as well uh, that's why in more like more standard mirror matches when there's seed fighter on both sides uh, you know who, who's got a faster seed fighter automatically has advantage or also who wins the coin flip between you know two equally uh, uh, relic um, Darth Revens, which Leviathan will go first. Uh, so it's a bit of an RNG in this one as well and it can get messy. However, uh, from my testing, if you do use Mark VI Interceptor in the starting lineup over the Seed Bomber, there's literally, for me at least personally, no RNG involved. That's why this guide uh, will maybe look like a little bit less detailed than my previous uh, um, Leviathan uh, guides just because there's not a whole lot of RNG involved so I'm not gonna go through you know RNG factors and things like that I'll just first cover some of the key here mechanics we will be uh, using and utilizing and then I'll just run a couple of quick battles just to walk you through it to show you how this counter works uh, in practice uh, so let's start with the fury class interceptor obviously one thing to note is uh, we do have a heal ability here in this one and i guess one just thing to note here is uh, for example if one of your uh, ships is already below 100 percent health uh, i try not to use this ability because then you can heal them back up to a full health they get hit again fall below 100 percent health again and then enemy can gain bonus turn meter again uh, but you know eventually you can get to use it just in beginning I don't use it for that purpose alone just so I don't give enemies uh, opportunity uh, to obviously gain too much uh, bonus turn meter now why are we using mark interceptor uh, in the starting lineup well couple of things really uh, because it's the lowest uh, health ship on your side because mostly basically just got one health AI kind of prioritizes it and it likes to hit it a lot but because it's got one health uh, and it actually can never fall below 100% health so if enemy keeps hitting it uh, then they're actually not gaining any bonus turn meter from it uh, so that's one of the benefits the other one is the AoE that will give us tenacity up uh, for two turns uh, so we can then start resisting uh, all those thermal detonators that enemy will be applying from the Sith uh, bomber and then also we do have here some debuffs that cannot be resisted cannot be evaded now why it's important to land debuffs uh, because obviously with Sith fighter whenever we deal damage to debuffed uh, enemies we are gaining foresight so we can dodge their attacks now speaking of Sith fighter uh, as mentioned before this is the key ability here that will make everything going uh, because whenever an enemy falls below 100% health all Sith allies gain 25% uh, turn meter and this goes nicely in hand with the first bit of its ability that Sith fighter attacks ignore protection against debuffed enemies so this is pretty nice because you can land the debuffs and then when you hit them they will fall below 100% health uh, giving you a bonus turn meter so really very basic mechanics in this uh, counter as you will see we get tenacity up with interceptor and then we'll just keep focusing on seed bomber and just ignore everybody else in terms of reinforcements uh, we'll be bringing in a uh, tie dagger first uh, one thing to notice with tie dagger uh, from its ability here 
is that whenever it gets its bonus turn from Vengeance, uh, then it will be able to, during this bonus turn, ignore Taunt and also ignore Protection. That's why I kind of save the AoE from Tide Dagger uh, until uh, we actually get the bonus turn, because then with the AoE we can get all the enemies that were not below 100% health, below 100% health, feeding more turn meter uh, to the ship, and then second enforcement will just be bringing in Bomber there, just to tank a little bit. Okay, so uh, in order for obviously for me to always uh, lose the coin flip, I remove the mod from my Darth Revan just to make sure my Darth Revan always goes second. And also seems like I'm like the only person still in my shard with the Relic 5 Sith Fighter. So wh whichever enemies uh, I go with my Sith Fighter will always go second. Also no 6 dot mods on here. So you can see we are here uh, pretty much a disadvantage across the board in a lot of these matches in my at least in my fleet chart but anyway uh, let's hop in the battle and let me walk you through it how this counter works all right uh, here we go as mentioned before uh, i purposely made my uh, leviathan slower so they will go first uh, reduce the speed on my leviathan then their Sif Assassin goes first. Again, as you can see, they like to go... I mean, they also spread damage across, but overall, they tend to go after Mark VI Interceptor. It cannot below fall below 100% health, so no bonus turn meter for them. And then from here on out, we're just going to use a special ability here uh, on the enemy Sith Bomber. There you go, it dropped below 100% uh, health, so we started gaining bonus turn meter. Now we're going to do an AoE here, uh, apply the debuffs, gain tenacity up. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and start off here with the Mass Assist. And we'll just keep going here after the Sith Bomber. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this ability now. Uh, targeting a Fury Class Interceptor. Now we reduce the speed on their Leviathan. As you can see, they're almost exclusively focusing on Mark Interceptor. Which obviously allows me to start outrunning them. Uh, when we call uh, an Assist with Mark Interceptor, let's call Fury Class to Assist. So uh, we get some debuffs. Uh, again, as I mentioned, this, uh, the healing ability, if like if one of my guys would be below 100% health, I would not use it. At this point, I will not use it as well. Everybody's in good health. Just going to do a basic. There uh, we go. And here we are. We're already outrunning them. I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, Tyke Dagger as the first reinforcement. Uh, again, saving the AoE for when we get a bonus turn. I'm just going to do a basic here. They're going to go, okay, bring in a pop shuttle and they fixed up the seed bomber a bit. That's fine. Uh, now we don't have any debuffs on the here, Sith bomber, so let's leave it alone. We'll just target Sith Assassin. Okay, so as you can see, they keep hitting this guy. There we go. We've got now bonus turn with the tie dagger, so I'm going to do an AoE. Uh, which got everybody below 100% health that were not, which means more bonus turns. Again, let's target uh, Fury Class Interceptor with the uh, ability from uh, Leviathan. And I will just keep going after Seed Bomber. There we go. And one of the advantages as well of having Mark uh, Interceptor because of Tenacity Up, they were struggling to land debuffs. So then also, if they don't land enough debuffs, right, they can't yet uh, dis disable my reinforcement. So that's another cool thing. Again, not healing up here. I'm just going to do the basic. I'm going to do a special here. Okay, just keep doing basics. Okay. There we go. That's fine. We'll keep it going. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do another AoE, get that tenacity up locked in again. I'm just gonna do... let's see if we can actually finish off Sith Assassin now. Not quite, bringing in my second reinforcement, which is Bomber. And I'm going to go ahead uh, and... oh, I got another bonus turn now with Tide Dagger, so I'm going to go ahead and do another AoE. Uh, Sith Assassin is down, do another AoE with my Bomber as well. And they will go ahead and bring in a Mark Interceptor. Which means they insta killed their uh, my Fury class, but it's okay. At this point, we've got things under control. We should be able to pull off the ultimate on our next turn. Obviously, uh, this battle kind of goes slightly differently depending on the reinforcement. This was probably worst case scenario where they had their reinforcement set up in a way that actually Mark Interceptor uh, came in second, not first. So they were able to insta kill uh, my their uh, Fury class Interceptor. Uh, but in most battles, uh, obviously, Mark Interceptor does come as the first reinforcement. And in those, you can pretty much win uh, with everybody alive. And now we just have to go ahead and here finish off everybody else.
perfect. We got him finally down. As I mentioned before, you know, playing in real time, it wouldn't come that close. Uh, it's just because I was stopping there. Okay, so let's do this uh, against another fleet. Uh, this one, you got even higher relics. They got also Relic 9 on Seed Fighter as well as uh, Fury class. So we'll do this again. And I'll just see what kind of reinforcements uh, they will uh, bring out this time. Just to see if, you know, I can show you a little bit different battle. Uh, but otherwise, we'll play exactly the same. Uh, again, um, their Leviathan goes first. Then their Sea Fighter will go. Again, targeting Interceptor there. And then we'll do the same. Just do the special ability with our Seed Fighter. And then we'll do the AoE to get Tenacity up. There we go. And then we'll do Mass Assist. And let's go ahead and uh, use the special ability. First one that we can use from Leviathan. There we go, getting some counterattacks. Uh, let's go ahead. I like, let's call uh, Fury class for the assist there. Uh, I'm just going to basic. Uh, let's see what I've got as the reinforcement. So there you go. This time we've got the other one where they did bring uh, Mark Interceptor as the first reinforcement. I will do the same, bringing in Tide Dagger. I'm going to use basic. I will save the AoE for when we do get uh, their uh, bonus turn on Tide Dagger. And now because uh, uh, Seed Bomb is there, as you can see, they're very, very low in health. I will probably be able to kill it here because it's debuffed and Seed Fighter ignores protection. There we go. We got Bomber down already. And uh, now we can go after here uh, Seed Fighter. Okay. They do the AoE. That's fine. Here comes the bonus turn with Tide Dagger. So that's where I'm going to use its AoE now. And we can go ahead and use our spe second special already. And I would just have to go ahead finish these guys off okay one more hit should do it just basic there we go got him down as well uh you always leave mark interceptor for the last uh, otherwise it keeps regaining stacks as long as it's got safe allies and things like that so uh, we'll just focus now down on the uh, fury class going to go ahead and do another aoe right here i'm um, just the basics uh, let's go ahead and bring in uh, our second reinforcement. So you can see this is going to be a lot cleaner, a lot better, obviously, uh, when they do have um, the reinforcement set up in a way that uh, they bring in Mark Interceptors first. So it really depends a little bit on reinforcements, how these battles goes. But for my testing, no matter what reinforcements they bring, uh, this counter with a Mark VI Interceptor works pretty well for me and we're already at the ultimate. Um, as you can see, we're pretty much, this would be kind of, a, like I said, a Grand Arena match, if you will. Uh, this potentially could be a full uh, banner win. Uh, we go, just do a basic there. Okay, there we go. Can just probably hit uh, auto at this point, because uh, there is nothing that can go wrong here. There we go. Okay, and I just have to go through, again, Mark VI Interceptor. As you can see, this time I was going much faster through the battle, uh, just because of that. Oh, what's happening here? Uh, don't freeze, don't freeze. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit bugged there when you do use um, the enemy second special ability with Leviathan. I've noticed it kind of freezes there for a moment, but eventually it gets going. Okay, so let's do it uh, one more time against a different opponent again, just to see will they be bringing out different reinforcements, just so that I can show you a little bit how different reinforcements affect uh, the battle. But again, no matter what reinforcements to use, uh, no issues whatsoever here with Mark VI Interceptor. Again, handy I handicapped my Leviathan on purpose, so they always go before me. There uh, we go, and we'll do the same thing, uh, start off with our special ability on Seed Fighter, do the AoE, gives us tenacity up, land debuffs on the enemies, slow them down, we'll do the mass assist next, and then uh, we will now uh, slow down their Leviathan. Okay, as you can see, they really like going after a Mark Interceptor there, which works in our favor, again calling uh, here Fury Class for the assist. Gonna do, keep doing basics, and now I'm going to go ahead and bring in a tie dagger. As you can see, we're already outrunning them. There we go, almost got them. Okay, so they as well uh, bring in Mark Interceptor first, and again, finishing off their uh, Seed Bomber. And now we can go ahead and finish off as well Seed Fighter. I'm gonna save the AoE for the bonus turn, as I mentioned before. They got their AoE out. 
now I got bonus turn and now I can go ahead and knock out the AoE feeding turn meter to the team. Use the second ability as well, which will destroy their next reinforcement when they bring it out. There we go. Got him down as well. Um, just a case of now again finishing off Fury Class Interceptor as well as a Mark VI. Okay, keep going. There we go. Uh, do an AoE again. Okay, basics. And we will bring our next reinforcement now in. Um, no sense, I guess, of doing the AoE now. They've got tenacity up, so I'll just do the basic for now. And they've got a pop shuttle again. It got destroyed uh, because uh, we used our second special. Just keep doing basics. Okay. Do assist here. Perfect. And we are already now uh, ready to go ahead, use the ultimate, and again, clean up the rest of the board. What would be in our arena? Almost a max banner win. And there you go, guys. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you today. A slightly different Leviathan mirror counter that I don't really see anyone talk about, to be honest. Uh, just, you know, once or twice somebody mentioned to it, so I had a look into it. And from my testing, at least, obviously, uh, as I'm always kind of uh, under uh, modded, under relic, as we've shown you here, it works very consistently, no stress at all just because of that tenacity up in beginning and as well i've shown you ai kind of prioritizing going after mark 6 interceptor that it can't get below 100 health because it's got only one health thank you for watching guys hopefully this video was useful and helpful uh, let me know in the comments below or on my discord server but until then have fun enjoy life and may the rng be with you my friends